Hey, what's up guys? Flickify here with the start of Season 2 of this Kaiser Slide and Career Mode. And today I'm just going to be going through all the preseason business and pretty much everything up until our first competitive game. That'll be in the next episode, but in this episode I'm really looking to strengthen our team, particularly the substitutes at the attacking positions. So we have a lot of good talent up here at the right outside mid, center attacking mid, left outside mid, striker, all in the 70s. But I do want to find a little bit more talent uh, just so we can have some super subs and just a lot of pace up front. And maybe a center defense in mid if we have the cash for it. You guys have suggested for me to sign Yassine Benzia or Martial. And I'll have a look at them as well as any other players that I find interesting. Alright, I'm having a look at the free agents. And Pedro Zoge looks like a very solid player with not too much of a wage budget for every week. So I'm going to approach to sign him and give him the squad rotational role. Because that's about what he would receive. I've also found another guy and this guy looks super quick. So I am going to approach to sign him as well. Only 4,000 every week, and I can deal with that, so I'll give him the squad rotational role, and hopefully we can sign him as well, and he would be a nice backup right back, or left back, or even a right mid, or if we need some pace anywhere, we'll put him in. Alright, so Leon has come back to me, and they say they want 2.6 million euros for Benzia. That's not too bad, I mean, he's a pretty decent player now that he's progressed here. I'm going to start with a 1.5 million offer and see what they have to say about that. And here you can see both our free agents did accept the contract offer, so that's two additional signings for the club, and I think they're going to be great signings, and they'll definitely add quite a bit of value to the team. Here we get a transfer offer for Sipple, and I'm not too interested in selling him, just because he had a really nice season last year, but if someone is interested in paying $1.5 then I would be willing to sell him off to another club. So we'll give that offer to Fiorentina. If they accept it, then he's going to be out of here. All right, Leon has come back and said they want $6.5 for Benzia. If they really want that much, there's no way I'm going to pay that much. So I'll give them a little bit more cash here, uh, but I am not willing to pay uh, $6.5 for Yassine Benzia. That is unacceptable. So I'll give 2.5, and that's probably the max I'll pay. All right, Freiburg is going to come at us for Fortunus here. I did put him on the transfer list. I want to get $1 million for him just because I think that would definitely... Uh, help improve the signings that we can make for this team. So hopefully they do accept that. Here you can see Freiburg did accept our 1 million counter offer for Fortuna. So if he does actually make his way out of the club and contract negotiations go well, that's definitely going to help us sign some more players to this team. And as you can see, Leon has accepted our 2.5 million offer for Yassine Benzia. So they were bluffing all along. And we're just going to have to go through a couple contract negotiations and he will be added to the team as a crucial first team player because he will be getting playtime over at least one of our players. Here we get an offer for ring 675. I'm going to up that to, uh, let's say 800. If they're willing to pay 800, I'm let it, willing to let ring leave the club because he's really not going to get too much playtime for this team. And this is going to be the last season. So there's no reason to keep such a young player that's not going to get playtime. And Benzia has accepted our contract offer, so that leaves $1 million left in our transfer funds. Uh, it's going to be $2 million if Fortunus does leave the club, and that will be enough for us to sign a couple more players. And as you can see, the counter offer for Ring was accepted, so that's going to be an additional probably 600000 or so add to the club. That's definitely enough for us to sign another player. All right, Burnley wants to sign Jensen, and I'm not going to do that easily. I'm going to say $2.5 million for him. And if they're willing to pay that much, then we can sign a better player for that amount. All right, they've come back and said they're willing to pay 1.2 million for Sipple. I'm going to accept that just because I think for 1.2 million, so pretty much 1 million, we can sign a keeper that's better than Sipple. And plus, Sipple's unhappy with the team because he doesn't want to play here anymore. So I'm going to accept that. And hopefully that goes through and we can get a little bit more funds. All right, big news here. Jensen's counter offer was accepted, so Burnley is going to be paying $2.5 million for him. I did not expect them to be willing to pay that much, but hey, you know, we're going to take that cash and we're going to be able to sign someone even better than Jensen, hopefully. All right, somehow I've managed to bargain with Dusseldorf, and they're willing to give me their keeper, Michael Renzig, for only $1 million. And he's already higher rated than Sipple, as far as I believe. So we just have to give him his... Uh, 30000 per week, which shouldn't be a big deal, and is a crucial first-team player, and hopefully he's willing to leave Dusseldorf and come to Kaiserslautern. And Michael Rensing's contract offer was accepted, so we're going to be adding him to the team, and we'll be checking out his player rating. 
All right, so Renzing's only rated 73. To be honest, I thought he'd be rated a little bit higher, uh, but hopefully he continues to grow. For some reason, keepers, when they're 30 years old, just start growing immediately, and that's one of the strangest things, but hopefully he could do that this season. All right, we had our first friendly against Swansea City, and as you can see, we had a 2-2 draw. Some goals through our new signing, Sakuta Pasu, or rather, should I say, he's come back from loan, and Loa managed to score a goal as well. All right, so the board has gotten back to me, and they say that they want us to finish mid-season, which is a pretty admirable task since we were just promoted last season, but we'll see how we do here uh, as the season progresses. All right, in our second preseason friendly, we got two goals through Nabri and another goal through our striker, Sukuta Pasu. And we got a 3-0 win there, so I'm really happy with the form that I'm seeing so far uh, with this team in the preseason. So not the best of results against Villarreal in our final preseason friendly, but again, it is a friendly and I'm not too concerned about it. So we get an offer here for Alushi, and I will accept this straight away just because I don't think he's going to add anything to the club and I might as well take the funds if I can receive them. Alright guys, we've reached our first competitive game against Hertha BSC Berlin, and I think that is a match that we can definitely do well in, but you're going to have to wait till the next episode to see that one. So if you have enjoyed this episode today, be sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel for some more content. And until next time, this has been Flickify. I'll be talking to you all again soon.